Curve C has parametric equations x equals 3t minus 4 and y equals 5 minus 6 over t, where t is greater than 0. Part A. Find dy by dx in terms of t. So I know dy by dx is equal to dy by dt divided by dx by dt. So I need to differentiate my y and my x functions with respect to t. 3t minus 4 differentiates to be 3. To differentiate the y function, I'm just going to rewrite that as 5 minus 6t to the minus 1. Differentiating the 5 will be 0. And then differentiating the minus 6t to the minus 1. So multiplying by minus 1 will give me a plus 6. Then taking 1 away from the power will be a t to the minus 2. So substituting each of those into my gradient function, I'll get 6t to the minus 2 divided by 3, which is the same thing as 2t to the minus 2, or 2 over t squared. That is my dy by dx in terms of t. We're then told that the point P lies on the curve where t is 1 half. And we need to find the equation of the tangent to curve at the point P, giving our answer in the form y equals px plus q. So let's first work out the gradient at point P. We've just worked out the gradient function, so what we need to do now is substitute the value of t in at that point, which is 1 half. So if we substitute 1 half into this, we get 2 over 1 half squared which is 8. So the gradient of our curve, and so the gradient of the tangent at point P is 8. So y equals 8x plus c. We just need to work out what the x and the y coordinates are at when t is a half. So if I substitute a half into the original x equation, then I find that the x coordinate at point P is minus 5 over 2. Similarly, substituting a half into the y equation, I find that the y coordinate is minus 7. So substituting those into our equation for the tangent, I find that c must be 13, so therefore the equation of the tangent is 8x plus 13. That's my answer for part b. Then finally, part c, show that the Cartesian equation for the curve can be written in the form y equals ax plus b over x plus 4, where a and b are integers to be found. So I am going to rearrange my x equation to make t the subject, and then I'm going to substitute that in here. So let's do that. Let's uh, first of all add 4 to both sides, and then divide both sides, both sides by 3. So my parameter t has to be equal to x plus 4 over 3. Substituting this in instead of the t here. So I'll get y equals 5 minus 6 over the x plus 4 over 3. Now to simplify this. I don't like this awkward fraction within a fraction here. So let's deal with that first. Let's times the top and the bottom by 3 to cancel this out. So that's going to give 18 over x plus 4. And we want a single fraction rather than two separate terms. So to get a common denominator, let me times the 5 by x plus 4. So that we have a common denominator. 
and we can now say 5x plus 20 minus 18 over x plus 4, which simplifies to be 5x plus 2 over x plus 4, and that is in the form that we needed. That does match up with this. That's my answer. A is 5 and B is 2.